Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a special effect experiment with uh, Jerry Berry. He is a former pharmacist, and uh, uh, we ask him to tell us uh, how to make an alum solution to paint an icicle effect on rice paper. Let's start uh, uh, of making this uh, uh, alum solution. Okay, uh, what, we're, what we want to do, <coughs> excuse me, is we want to make a saturated solution. And to do that, we start out with um, some boiling water and maybe a quarter cup or so, two ounces, one or two ounces, and, and we put the, this boiling water in a glass to mix the alum in. Um, <coughs> what occurs is when, when this powder is put into the solution, the heat helps to dissolve it rather quickly and what you want is you want a saturated solution which means that as much of the powder as possible has dissolved in the water but you're also going to have a little bit of powder that's going to be on the bottom. It means it's not, it's not quite enough to, to, uh, to saturate the solution and give you more. Uh, if you were to heat this water up too hot afterwards or whatever what would happen was would be more of those crystals would would dissolve in the water and you would end up with a super saturated solution and you don't want a super saturated solution you just want a saturated solution if you if you if it's too saturated if it's super saturated uh, from what I understand it will affect the brush it will leave crystals on the brush it will also leave crystals on the painting and that's not what you want you just want a saturated solution so this two ounces that we have that we, we put in here, what we're going to do is we're going to pour probably, you know, just a little bit of, of the alum in here. And we're just, it doesn't really matter if you get too much because what's going to happen is it's going to saturate and it's going to be as saturated as it can be and you won't do a super saturated unless you heat it up even more. You can stir this with uh, some chopsticks or what we have here is, a, is a, uh, a ceramic type spoon. You can use the bottom part or a, a glass stirring rod or whatever. But what you're going to do is you're going to stir this until everything is dissolved. And what I've done is I, I can see that all of what I've put in there has dissolved. So what I want to do is I want to put more powder in there because I want some to, to be left at the bottom. So we're going to put some more in. And you can, you can decide how much of this solution you're going to use for the day or whatever and keep that solution down and you won't use as much of the powder. So you can kind of uh, be conservative as far as how much powder you use by how much water you start out with. So it looks like we're still dissolving. So I, I, I've got plenty of water in there. We're going to use up a little more powder. Hopefully we didn't use so much water, we use all of this alum up. But then you can also save it for yeah. later too, so. I usually just put uh, uh, the whole pack. You, 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 you could put the whole pack yeah, in. Yeah, and then just uh, get the rest in the bottle too for later use. It will crystallize uh, when you reach the full saturation. saturation point. Yeah, you'll, you'll see yeah. that. You, you, you won't see any more powder left in there. Uh -huh. A few little chunks that are still there, but it looks like you can see that it's starting to stay mm -hmm. and it's not dissolving quite as much. Still use some more, so let's go. So what is alum? Do you know anything? Uh, it's a it's a chemical compound, um, and it, it it can be a particular chemical compound or a group of compounds. I think it has aluminum, um, uh, aluminum sulfate, uh, chromium. I, I, I we looked at it at Google a while ago and, and we couldn't find it. It's you can um, so, sometimes you you'll find it in certain plants. Uh, they'll have a higher concentration. If, if you were to taste those plants, it would be very bitter. It doesn't taste very good at all in that respect. Um, 
I learned a little bit about it in my pharmacognosy class in pharmacy school. Uh, they use it a lot in, uh, in uh, creating chemical compounds or, or it was found in, in plant, medicinal plants that uh, were, uh, were used back in the, in the heyday. It looks like we're still, we've got plenty of water. It's not quite crystallizing yet, so let's... Yeah, it, it's used in uh, food processing also. Right, right. Okay, so we use this, pretty much use this whole packet. We used a little bit of this packet, I think, yesterday, but... Um, so, uh, in that respect, the next time that I would do this, if I didn't want to use all this water, I didn't want to save a lot, I would use less water, maybe one ounce, mm -hmm. uh, and use maybe half a packet might work the same thing. It looks like it's, it's getting pretty saturated now. It's yeah. still it's starting to look a little milky yeah. and not dissolving the way it normally would. Mm -hmm. Let's see if some stirring. It's taking longer for those to dissolve, which means it's becoming very close to saturated. Yeah. So if you have something uh, in the bottom, we just skip that. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't worry about that. It looks like looks like that is not yeah. wanting to dissolve very easily. I'm stirring it really good. It kind of gets can, stirred up. We but can just use that for painting and then just uh, add more water to dilute it because it's like a. a Using pigments, you you would need different uh, right, thickness. Right. When you paint, you will see yeah. if you want more opaque, you, you use more right. pure. Yeah. Separate. So 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 the amount that we put in there has dissolved as much as it's going to dissolve. There is a little bit of that white powder on the bottom. If I stir it up, it kind of disappears. But really, all it is yeah. is it's it's suspended in the water. And when I stop, it will all drop down to the yeah. bottom. And you can see it there. So this is this is a saturated solution now. Okay. No more we, heat. No more no more heat. You don't want to put any more heat in it. Uh, that would be super saturated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Thank you, Barry. You're welcome. We'll uh, show you what to do next. Stay tuned.